All right, another um, investigation of gas stoichiometry. Um, this question is going to be a conversion from grams of zinc into volume. So we're going from mass into volume, grams into liters. All right, so the question states, find volume of hydrogen gas made when 38.2 grams of zinc reacts with excess hydrochloric acid at standard conditions. All right, so we're starting with 38.2 grams of zinc reacting with excess hydrochloric acid, meaning we don't have to worry about being limited by the amount of hydrochloric acid we have. And we want to know how much hydrogen gas this will make. All right. So with any stoichiometry question, the first thing you always do is to convert into moles. All right. So we are given grams of zinc, and we want to convert these grams of zinc into moles of zinc. All right. So we multiply by the conversion factor, where we relate moles of zinc to grams of zinc. All right. You put the units, the desired units, on top and the units you wish to get rid of on bottom. All right. So we want our answer to be in moles, and we want to get rid of grams. So how much does one mole of zinc weigh? We look at the periodic table, and we find that one mole of zinc weighs 65.4 grams. So that's the first step. The second step of any stoichiometry question is to multiply by a mole ratio. All right. Here is our balanced equation. Now, for every one mole of zinc that reacts, there will be one mole of hydrogen produced. All right? So the ratio is what we're looking for on top, hydrogen, to what we want to get rid of, zinc. We want to convert our moles of zinc into moles of hydrogen. And the ratio is one to one. All right? Multiply the top across, divide by the bottom, and we get 0.584 moles of hydrogen gas being produced. Now, the question asks for volume of hydrogen gas, not moles of hydrogen gas. So there's one final step. We need to convert our moles of hydrogen gas into liters of hydrogen gas. All right? At standard conditions, one mole of any gas will occupy 22.4 liters, and that number comes from the ideal gas law. All right? So we have 0.854 moles of hydrogen gas being produced, and we multiply that by the ratio. Again, units that we're looking for on top, we're looking for liters of hydrogen gas, and the units we want to get rid of on bottom, moles of hydrogen. We want to convert our moles of hydrogen into liters of hydrogen. How many liters are there in every mole at STP? 22.4. Multiply the top across and the bottom, and divide by the bottom, and you get 13.08 liters of hydrogen gas.